Good evening. Thanks again for joining my channel. Golden Maverick, it's appreciated. Uh, I just have to take this uh, squeaky toy off the dog, <laughs> or else he'll drive you crazy. That's enough with that, mate. It's driving me crazy, and that really starts to bring me. I've waited till I've done this video. Alright. You're gonna wait till so I've done it. Yeah, good. I don't think we've seen any of my other videos, but you own it. I bought some uh, OEX branded gear. I bought a, ch a lightweight chair and a table, and I were impressed with them. So, what I thought. I'll try, I'll buy the bed, and it's called an ultralight bed, but it weighs about, well I'll tell you what it weighs, I'll give you some dimensions, OEX ultralight cot bed, weight 2.54 kilograms, product size 185 by 60 by 12 centimeters off the ground when it's assembled, um, Pack away size is 53 centimeters by 18 by 9 centimeters. So low profile design, lightweight and durable, alodized aluminium frame, lockable legs for added stability. All right, we'll see. Your labels. The top label says ultralight chair for some unknown reason. And then it says ultralight folding cot on the other two. Just standard tags, labels. OEX uh, design and development in the UK, but it's made in China. Uh, it was designed here, but it's made over there. It's obviously cheaper to get them made in China. Nice Oxford canvas bag again. It's got a handle at the top. At the end and a handle on top. It's got a decent zips, but it's got two two way zips on it, so but it doesn't open all the way, it only opens halfway. Inside the bag you get a set of instructions basically showing you how to put it together. Curve, curve should be taken tension in the leg section, plus keep your face away from the tensioning points. Maximum load 150 kilograms, that I presume that's when you're pressing down. Do not apply weight on the knee or the elbow to one section of the cot. I don't know what that means. Use firm level ground to assemble it. That's going to be awkward sometimes, isn't it? But I suppose I'll find something to put it on. Right. It's a, it's like an Oxford canvas bag with a water resistant lining again. No, it's like a plastic coated lining. Inside the bag, you get a set of instructions and you get you get the bed. It's an Oxford canvas again, double stitched along the, along the uh, sides, the seams. Right, so what I'll do now, I'll move the camera so you can see me assemble it. So that's how it comes packed. Rolled up, as you roll it out, well it just falls out, two flaps. Inside, You get these aluminium uh, poles with spigots on and shot cord inside that just slot together like that basically. That's your side stretchers. In four pieces. There's your side stretches. You got these legs. 
these joints are plastic which on the other one everything was aluminium which is uh, I don't know whether they need these so you've got a bit of flexibility to uh, put them in or not and on the end where these legs fit inside each other it's squared it's like a, a square but rounded off so when it goes in here it can't twist it, to, it has to go in square and there's feet them are the bottom feet you can see them I don't like this idea elastic bands you know a bit of velcro or something so they could all be velcro together or that's that's the cheap nasty way of doing things that elastic bands and that's a leg one leg assembly obviously it's that way up when it attaches to the cot there you go there's five of these Elastic bands on every one of them, which I don't like to prefer. I think that's a cheap, nasty way of doing it, but well, because they've got a shot card in them, as soon as you take the elastic bands off, they spring out. So you go, you've got those five. Then you've got this canvas. Right yeah. Come on. You've got this canvas. This is your bed surface. Inside here, there's a slot to get your bar in and then a pocket to hold it in. OEX branding. And it just says important maximum weight 120 kilograms so it, on the other part it must be 150 kilograms of force no more on it come on dog mind move mind these poles side stretches go all the way through here and the dog's attacking it because he thinks it's a toy give over it nip. nip stop move stop it and get smacked boy Being a pain, aren't you? Don't make in your cage. No, no, leave it, leave it. <laughs> Dog's finding it amusing anyway. Thread them poles down the sides, and this is it because the canvas is stiff because it's new. It's very hard to stretch it and get it, get the poles in the pockets. So you have a tool on you, whatever it is. Tent peg do it, I suppose. I just I want to pull it over with that. Because it's new in it, once it's been used a few times, I should, I should imagine it'd be a lot easier. I don't want to keep dropping it. Right. 
so that's with the two side stretches in it obviously now you flip it over you get these legs there's a cup here that looks like a finger release of some kind but I can't see you doing your fingers on them push one end in you need a lot of, you need a lot of pressure on these though wow that's difficult that I'm gonna go get I'm gonna get some gloves that really digs in your hand. Uh, they really dig into your hand those. These bars. to do that they're, they're very difficult to get in I suppose it'll get easier with use but at the moment, I have to stand up to do it. Sorry if I'm out of frame. It's nice and lightweight. Well, it feels lightweight, but it's just heavy. Let's see what it's like holding weight. Ah, no problem. Definitely up off the ground, so. I think I'll put them gloves inside there. I usually have gloves when I'm uh, out camping anyway for wood preparation and stuff like that but it's alright, plenty of room that's how I normally sleep yeah. the main thing is I'm up off the ground so it'll stop conduction and it's not bad for sitting on as well you know, you're off the ground yeah, it's alright just a difficulty if you if you're not strong you'd struggle to get those legs in you know i'm six foot in in height and there's easily enough room on me on this uh, bed for me so it's a bit narrow but i never sleep on my back i always sleep on this side basically in that configuration nearly always use like a pillow obviously here so that'll be all right. That yeah. in winter, in winter I'll be able to go out, not take me in there, and use this bed to keep me off the ground, stop me losing heat by conduction. Uh, which it, it saps you, you know. Like, even with a an high high rated mat, you can still get cold. Well, with this being off the ground and the mat, I think you'd, you'd be okay. I think you'd be a lot warmer and increase your air rating. Right, that's the OEX bed. There you go. 
so easy now to take off. Seem easy to take off. One, two, three. Oh, that's a bit tight. Four. When you put it away, it folds. Folds like that. Turn it that way. Get all your elastic bands on your feet, I suppose, which is annoying. Uh, that's not good. I don't like that idea. Yeah, they just spring straight back open if you've got these bands on. I think I'll get one one Velcro strap that'll go round all of them and hold them shut. Because I can't be doing with all those elastic bands messing about and Just seems like a cheap cost exercise or use elastic bands they're only pennies you know and if you're going to build if you're going to sell a decent bit of equipment you might as well go the fog aren't you and put some proper retainers though for these that's just my opinion you know i don't know if i'm right or not it's just when you buy quality stuff you usually get quality fittings for them and the elastic band missing that rolls up Hopefully, it's not that tight stuff, so I'm just making a bit of a meal of it. There we go. OEX ultralight cot bed. Got another little product of. Uh, Got another little product off Amazon. Uh, I've got a few camping lights, but a friend of mine's got a Haber hammock, and along the ridge line, it's got a string of like LEDs. And uh, when I saw him use them, I thought, yeah, that looks good, that gives plenty of light off. You know, if, you, if you're working or you're all sat outside, I don't know if it's enough light for filming, but just quite a lot of light off so I bought, I bought it off Amazon obviously you don't get a power pack with it that's one of my own power packs but switch on the power supply drop it on floor there you go it's got a little switch there and you can you can hang it up like that or use it as a lantern or you've got a string of LEDs for along your ridge line whether it be your tap your hammock or whatever 
No, they don't weigh anything. You know, they weigh nothing. And uh, I think they're pretty good. It's a very lightweight touch on and off switch. They run off your power bank. I don't think mine needs charging actually, but they run off your power bank. So that's good. And uh, I'll just switch them off. You can run them along your ridge line. You've got a, a lot of extra cordage here, uh, cab, cable here, so you can run it back to your hammock or whatever. And uh, so you've got a switch close here. But it's also got these four rubberized tubes, and they've got a, a neo neo something magnet in them. So you can you can. Use, stick it to something metal but obviously the ridge line is not metal if you squeeze that you get you get a five millimeter ridge line in there so you could actually thread your ridge line you know thread them onto your ridge line so it holds it up but it also comes with these reusable rubber ties it's just just like cable ties but reusable basically so you can attach it to your ridge line with them but you only get three of them but i think these you can get them for uh small trees and, and plants so you can probably get them in the garden center if you needed more the bag it's like a little so nylon bag rip stop so when you can uh Get the end of your lights well it's got a a loop on the end of the lights as well you know so you could probably just fix it there and tie it up on the other end probably a prosthetic knot so you could hold it with on your ridge line waterproof so you can uh, you could just use them outside as well you don't have to have them on your ridge line you can use them outside just leds in a bit of a plastic sleeve in it it was 13 quid off amazon i think but i like the idea where you can uh, keep the switch out shut the bag Plug it in and just use it as a lantern if I can find the on and off switch or the switch with a wire. There you go. You can use it as a lantern. Not bad, is it? A bit of a novelty. Anyway, that's another thing about. So just start sharing that with you. Uh, thanks for watching. I haven't been able to get camping this uh, weekend. I've had a few things on to sort out, so I thought I'd do this little review for you and see what you think, see if it's any good to you. Thanks for watching. If you could leave a comment, like, or subscribe if you could. It doesn't cost anything and it'll help the channel. Thanks very much for watching. Have a good night. See you all later.